Hi, I'm Megan Potter and today I'm here to talk to you about cool contouring dust and we're using it three different ways. So we're using it to um, change our foundation shade very slightly, we're using it to contour and we're using it on our eyes as an eyeshadow. So take a look. Okay, let's get started. I thought I'd start by showing you the difference in the cool contouring dust, this one here, and the warm bronzer. So as you can see, this one is really warm, golden bronzy sort of color. And this one is a little bit lighter and it's on the cooler side. So perfect for my cooler skin tone. So I thought that might help you seeing them side by side. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to mix a little bit with my foundation today. So I wear shade glowing, which is perfect for me all year. But if I've um, gotten a little bit of a tan from summer or been wearing fake tan, just mixing a little bit of cool contouring dust with it just um, gives me a little bit more depth of color without having to go up a foundation shade. So you might, this might work for you at home as well. So I've put my foundation in the lid and then I'm just gonna tap some cool contouring dust in there and mix it together with my kabuki brush and then just apply it. So tap, tap, of course, tap, tap on the bottom and then buffing it straight into my skin. So it's almost like making your own custom foundation shade. There we go, buffing it straight in and buff, buff, buff. When I conceal under my eyes, I will just use the glowing foundation on its own. I won't bother mixing it with the cool contouring dust because I think it will conceal better being just the foundation on its own. There we go. Happy with that. So just the powder on its own with my concealer brush. There we go. Under the eyes. And in that little nook next to my nose there, just to conceal any lack of sleep. <laughs> and just these capillaries around here too. And a bit of spot concealing. I always need spot concealing, I tell you. There we go, happy with that. Now, even though I've mixed the cool contouring dust with my foundation, I'm still going to do a quick contour with it as well just to give my face a little bit of shape and a bit of definition. Go, you can do the jaw while you're there as well. The cool contouring dust and the warm bronzer are excellent to use all over your body too. So not just your face and your neck and your chest, but you can buff it straight into your arms or your legs to give yourself a bit of color. Or you can put some body moisturizer or some body oil tap some powder into it, the warm bronzer or the cool contouring dust and use it like a, um, like a tan. I mean, it will wash off unlike a tan, but it will, um, if you needed it for a special event, um, it would look beautiful. Give you a bit of color, a bit of coverage. All right, swapping over to my blush now. I love Raspberry Tide, it's my favorite. Smiling to get it on the apples of the cheeks. Love it, and anything that's left over, I'm just gonna buff it onto my eyes. Just a tiny bit of pink. There we go. This will just give us a real no makeup makeup look. I'm going back to the cool contouring dust again, and we're just gonna pop a little bit in the socket of our eyes. Just using this brush here. So in the socket, and then just above slightly as well. In the socket, and slightly above. So in that socket, you can feel it, the brush just sort of runs along that socket line and then slightly above. There we go. You could leave it like that or you could just frame it slightly with a little bit of highlighter on your brow bone. So just a little bit of highlighter just here to really finish off that look. People will think, oh, you look fresh. How have you done it? <laughs> this is the look. All right, eyebrows, always put my eyebrows on, even for those no makeup look days. So I wear shade Blonde, which is probably our best seller, I'd say. Um, it's not blonde in color, it's taupe in color, and it's perfect for people with blonde hair or even people with brown hair that don't wanna make their eyebrows any darker. Go. A 
less is more people. So starting on the arch point and working out and really putting none in towards the nose. If you start drawing in here, it'll just look really obvious. There we go. This is where you'd curl your lashes, pop your lash perfecter and your mascara. But I just wanna keep it nice and quick for you today. So I'm just gonna put my mascara straight on and a bit of lippy and I'm out the door. So this video has been going for five or six minutes now, but really if I was doing this at home without chatting along the way, this would be less than five minutes, this look. Perfect for busy woman, which let's face it, we all are. Bit of lippy, I've got tribal dance here today. There we go. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe on YouTube. And of course, tell your friends. Bye.